So, good day everyone, especially to the organizing team of this conference. I am Maria L. Baldoman, a college student at Central Mindanao University, Philippines. And in behalf of my co-author, I am the one to present a research entitled The Rights of Epistemic Meaning of Words, Semantic Change of Vinukib Language in Reflection of Modernity in Bukidman, Philippines. So in my presentation, the coverage of my presentation will be our introduction, the review of literature, our findings, and then for the conclusion. Now I'll begin my presentation for our introduction. So the human language is driven to constant evolution, driven to the need that reflects the ongoing changes that become a more efficient means of communication. So all of the aspects are, that our language are changing all the time. And for most of the human history, for those changes in languages, most of that is not recorded. So some problems that occur in semantic change affect the formation of words, especially the meaning and the correspondence. So learning words that are a group in a semantic set are not easy to analyze because of its complexity when it comes to interpretation. Then, moreover, numerous semantic problems concerning linguistic construction occur due to limited examination and especially the lack of clarity and then the semantic function. And then, for our review of literature here in our, in our research, we have in this section, we have the history and then the developments, the challenges, and also the future. So for the history, according to Lemon, he defined that semantic change is a change of a one or more meanings of the world of the world in time. Then according then Ullman stated and explains that in the first half of the 20th century, much work was done to classify semantic change types. So much of most of which were lexical and then the content are considered as isolation. So in the Philippines, there are diverse in terms of culture and language, and there are 11 million IPs and 110 indigenous ethno-linguistic groups located in 65 to 78 province in the country. So the Binukid alphabet here in our study is only made up of 18 letters with only four vowels of 13 consonants. And around 100,000 people still speak this indigenous language here in the Philippines. So for the developments of our study, so for the developments of our study, according to according to Tang et al, linguistic creativity widens the gap between the information and the demand in multiple natural languages. Thus, Adeline 2017 stated that various languages treat words referring to space, direction, orientation, and reflection in modernity. So here in the Philippines, the Philippine school in this present time are using Tagalog and also English as the media of instruction. So however, there are efforts now, especially here in Bukidnon, in Malaybalay City, to, that they are promoting Binukid language in schools. So this is the most common development when it comes to semantic changes. And then for the challenges, according to Bauer in 2019, the word is different. It has been challenging for the historical linguistics to, to community to formulate wide encompassing generalizations about semantic change. Now, as what Bajo Charya stated, semantic barriers to communication are the symbolic obstacles that restore the sent message in some other way than intended the making message too difficult to understand. So when it comes to semantic changes, there are a lot of complexity. That is why communication barriers are likely to occur when it comes to changes. And 
Rihaya also stated in 2011 that there was also difficulties in information extraction because unlike other name entities, the words or sentence level, it is difficult to assign a practice, a precise label of semantic change through a sequence of technological events. So most of the factor here is because of modernity or brought by the technology. Now for the future in the literature, semantic change will continue to be present in language. Not only will this determine the development of language, but the latter will itself determine how people look at the world, and that is to say how they structure reality in their hands. So semantic changes is not just here in Bunuki language, but also in other languages. And it is a present that we all know that semantic changes continue to develop and continue to evolve in different languages. So the findings of our research, the researchers found out that the semantic change of Vinuki language is true to the coined and borrowed word from different languages with the modernization of the society the use of language has gradually declined and only the tribe's elders usually use the language. And it is a very evident here in the Philippines because in the in young generation, most of the teenagers and the students only use Tagalog and English when they are when it comes to the medium of instruction. And only the elders still use the Binukid language. So the innovation touches on and spreads throughout the community and eventually replacing those older forms with new forms and that is because of modernization. So this rich cultural linguistic history has gone largely unexplored because there have been few studies on the language today. Although there has been research and dictionaries about Binukid language, it is really evident that Scholars have paid less attention when it comes to the study of Binukid language here in the Philippines. So, our study concludes that understanding how words change their meaning over time is key to language and cultural evolution. So, semantic changes affect communication in today's generation. And in terms of the frequently used semantic change type in languages, Metaphor is often used in the written text. In a spoken language, the predominant type is broadening. Now, the semantic changes in the Binuki language are reflected in the speaker's modernity, that is number one, the maritime culture, and then the environment, which largely affect the changes when it comes to words, sentences, and phrases in Binuki language. Now, indigenous language speakers could effectively communicate amidst the undeniable existence of semantic change. And thus, semantic change categorization, relationship to the nature of semantic change, remains obscure, despite the efforts of researchers in this field. So, madakin ha salamat. Thank you for listening, everyone. And that is the end of my presentation for our research entitled, The Rise of Epistemic Meaning of Words, Semantic Change of Binukid Language, a reflection of modernity in Bukidnan Philippines. Okay, uh, question is, uh, could you please give some examples of what kind of semantic shift is taking place? So maybe uh, South Asian languages, they are uh, modern, just listen, modernization in the sense of South Asian languages, to say, shifting uh, from uh, religious uh, uh, domain to uh, maybe uh, uh, the economic domain. Uh, that is called modernization, especially to the South Asian languages. But here, this is the globalization uh, trend is going on. And the globalization, what kind of you know, uh, meanings are brought in, how it affects the global meaning. These the two or three examples. Do you understand the question, Justin? Okay, sir. My answer yeah. for your question, sir, is yes, that please, please. Um, there, please, there were just a few studies in this field, so we don't have that kind of um, examples for at the moment here because, um, and also because of the ongoing pandemic, we cannot meet our participants, so we cannot 
check with them or interview or yes have an interview with them for languages so we only have uh, a background of the Dinkid language and what's happening on the language right now sir all right all right okay Dinkid language whether it's a kind of you know uh, speak, spoken by tribal people or how it is different from your standard language what is the standard language of philippines uh, and hello i am to say sir i would like to add some i would like to add some information for your question mm. yeah sir um actually sir based on our findings there are there are summary list to identify factors so just like what i've stated in our conclusion which is they are more on metaphor the use of metaphor sir and broadening and and broadening so they have identified this using summary list to identify the factors sir and similarities and their relationships in terms of their semantic categories and since our the type of our research sir is literature review we just go the repeatable journals and then come up with this finding sir and the binukid language is an indigenous language here in the philippines and in some schools we use english and tagalog sir for our medium in, of instruction sir all right all right thank you uh, okay uh, justin and leo uh just concentrate more on uh, the empirical uh, kind of studies because it's a theoretical studies okay it's a background and in the is the first kind of paper uh, for your research is okay but uh, you have to move further on this congratulations